was really happy to find out there's an AU, which is a Japanese cell phone carrier, right near my house. But I got here early and they don't open for another 10 minutes. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna sit here until they open. Uh, it was kind of embarrassing. I, I tried to open this, the sliding door, the automatic sliding door, but it hasn't been turned on yet. And then they probably saw me. But yeah, I'll just I'll just wait till nine so it's open. Uh, look around the town. Um, I know where I live, so I won't get lost. Uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting a cell phone because my uh, apartment doesn't have internet yet. Um, I probably won't even get it because uh, I'm moving in two months. It's, I think I, I might have mentioned that in my other video. Uh, but yeah, super excited to get a cell phone. Hopefully, I can get a deal here. Um, and I've negotiated a cell phone contract before during my study abroad, and, but that was six years ago, and so my Japanese is better now, so I think I can do it. Um, and hopefully I'll get a bargain. Uh, I'll report back when I'm done. See you guys. Hey, so I'm back in my house now. Um, I have to wait an hour for the lady at the AU store to set up my phone. Um, I filled out all the documents and everything and, and and then paid and then afterward when they got to the part I was worried about which is the Incon stamp which I don't have yet um, they're like oh well what are you going to do about it and, um, and I was like well I could probably come like next week because I was thinking I have to work tomorrow but um, I think tomorrow when I go in uh, the people at work can help me get the Incon stamp and, um, and, for, and, and get my bank uh, document because I have to I, and then I have to come back to AU tomorrow because um, that's the only way they'll let me use the phone today um, because I have to use a phone to call um, my supervisor at the BOE um, so yeah I'm just waiting an hour until it's like 10 15 so 45 more minutes until she's done um, setting it up it was I was gonna get an iPhone but um you know I, I actually don't really like Apple so much um, and I don't need like the newest model phone or anything. I don't use tons of apps or anything. Um, so I got, I got a. Um, actually, I forget what kind of brand I got, but it's like it's a Japanese. I think it's a Japanese model, and uh, it's gonna be. It was you can either pay monthly, or pay all at once. Um, so some of the vocabulary was kind of tripping me up. Like I, I didn't, I didn't know what some of the. That the words meant like um, like ikatsu means to pay all at once um, but then I, I finally figured out what that meant um, I, I just paid for it all at once because I, I, I had the money with me it was uh, 3 mon yen which is uh, $300 um, I was kind of hoping I could get the phone for free uh, with a contract but she said no because um, someone told me that it's always a two year contract in Japan for phones so uh, I also got I also got um, tethering so I can hook it up hook, uh, I can uh, get internet on my uh, laptop because I have a router here but um, it's not it's not like set up and um, so and so so every month it's gonna be like uh, seven a little over seven thousand yen which is like seventy dollars which is kind of a lot but my rent is only <laughs> my rent is only eighty dollars a month, so my expenses aren't too much. Uh, food is really cheap, and um, so yeah, tomorrow I have, I have those things to do. I have to remember, uh, and um, yeah, it was kind of hard. Like the jet, you like the Japanese for the vocabulary for buying a phone is like um, like shinki means new model, new model phone shinki. I knew I knew that one, um, but yeah, I didn't know ikatsu day, or um, and something else like oh the the word that meant like to to pay uh, instead of paying all ones the opposite of ikatsu day. Um, so so when I was first looking at all the the prices and everything, that that was really confusing because there were so many numbers. Uh, I didn't really know what was going on. Um, the lady was helpful though. Hey, I'm back from the AU store and I got a phone. I was happy because I got uh, actually money back. I got uh, $150 back. So the phone was actually only $150. Uh, 
because uh, I paid a, a, a little over three hundred uh, dollars originally. And uh, yeah, I'm just installing an update now. I got tethering so I can use the Wi-Fi uh, from my phone on my laptop. But um, yeah, I need to install this update and then see if it works. And there's also a password which I don't know. So if I can't figure out, I'm gonna try and figure out. But if I can't, I'll just go back to the AU store. It's just right down the street. Um, so yeah, I'm pr I'm pretty happy with this. Um, the phone seems to work pretty well. It's an Android phone. This is a, I think it's a Japanese brand. It's called e Isai. Um, yeah, and it was it was affordable and um, about seventy five dollars a month, but that's including the the tethering, and I got d damage protection and some other stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, I think it's it's gonna work out, and uh, yeah, glad to have a phone. I need to, I need to call my um, my board of education supervisor and let them know. Uh, and tomorrow, I guess. I need to go. I need to go back to the AU store to give them the my bank information and um, and the uh, the oh the stamp. I have to stamp the form. So yeah, I need to remember to tell the BOE that. But yeah, I'm pretty pretty happy with this. And it looks like it just reset. And I'm gonna try and figure out the this tethering thing if I can figure it out. So yeah.